In the late 50s, the government of India decided to establish regional engineering colleges under the Quality Technical Education Policy, one in each major state, with the prime objective of imparting quality technical education throughout the country and to foster national integration. Assam is considered as a flag bearer of Northeast India, where a regional engineering college was established, which was later converted into an institute of national importance. Welcome to College Suggest, and in this video, we are reviewing the National Institute of Technology, Silchar. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications about your favorite colleges, college comparisons, courses, careers, and much more. As always, we only consider the facts that are submitted by the college to the NIRF for the 2019 ranking. We'll leave the link in the description below. The National Institute of Technology, Silchar, was established in 1967 as the Regional Engineering College. In 2002, it was upgraded to the status of National Institute of Technology and was declared as an institute of national importance under the NIT Act of 2007. It aims to establish a unique identity by developing high-quality human and knowledge resources in diverse areas of technology to meet all the social needs of a society in a self-sustained manner. Now let's take a look at how the institution is performed in the various parameters set by the NIRF. The institution's score in teaching, learning and resources is 61.31% and 29.85% in research and professional practices. In graduation outcome, it has scored 61.7%. In outreach and inclusivity, it has scored 47.42%. And in the perception from the public, the score is 11.83%. With all these considered, NIT Silchar has an overall NIRF score of 45.61%, moving it up to the 51st rank in the NIRF table. NIT Silchar is located in Fakira Thilla, Silchar. The nearest railway station is the Silchar railway station which is about 10.2 km away. And the nearest airport is the Silchar airport. But the nearest international airport is the Lokpriya Gopinath Bordoloi International Airport which is about 342 km away. The beautiful lush campus of NIT Silchar spreads across 625 acres and has all the facilities for the students to learn and spread knowledge. The Central Library, with its modern collection of knowledge resources and innovative information systems, plays a complementing role for the students, faculty members and the surrounding community in their intellectual pursuits. It is a hybrid library with state-of-the-art technological applications. There are over 97,000 books, knowledge resources predominantly related to science, technology, humanities, social sciences, management and other allied subjects. The institute has eight boys' hostels and three girls' hostels. All these hostels have their individual mess management committee to look after the requirement for their boarders. The hostels are equipped with all basic amenities and provide a positive environment for the students to learn, socialize and spread knowledge. NIT Silchar has dedicated sports faculties to improve the overall enthusiasm for sports in the institute. The institution offers facilities for basketball, cricket, football, kabaddi, table tennis, volleyball and various other games. Admissions to the undergraduate engineering programs for candidates from India are based on the ranks in the JEE main. For PG admissions, candidates must have a valid GATE score. The institution offers 6 UG and 15 PG engineering programs. For the UG program, it has an approved intake of 632 seats and for the PG program, it has 250 seats. With a total of 2,800 engineering students, NIT Silchar has 88.18% as boys and 11.82% girls. NIT Silchar has 1,277 students from Assam, 1,491 students from other parts of the country and 32 students from abroad. There are a total of 295 full-time and 103 part-time students pursuing their PhD here. And in the last year, 27 full-time and 14 part-time students graduated with a doctorate. The overall graduation outcome of this institution is above average. 
Upon looking at the UG graduations, it has improved to 79.1% and 8.46% of these graduates decided to go for higher studies. However, PG graduations have dropped. 75.9% of the students graduated within the minimum stipulated time and 43.71% of them have chosen to study further. When it comes to placements, the UG program has an edge over the PG program. However, last year the UG placements have faced a drop by employing only 80.83% of the students. A total of 367 students were placed who were offered a median salary package of 6.09 lakhs per annum. The PG placements are on the downside but have improved to 9.57% by placing a total of 9 students. The placed students were given a median salary package of 5.19 lakhs per annum. The major companies who recruit students from NIT Silchar include Capgemini, Caterpillar, Godrej, HCL, Honda, IBM, Huawei, Mindtree, Oracle, Tata, Verizon and many others. The faculty members of this institution serve as a key motivating factor for the students. There are a total of 273 faculty members out of which 69.59% of them hold a doctorate. The institution has one faculty member for every 10 students who render quality technical education. The institute has initiated steps for strengthening R&D collaborations with many reputed industries along with strong linkages with renowned academic institutions within the country and from abroad. The number of patents published has increased to five and in the recent years, two patents were granted. The institute has received over 1 crore as sponsored research funds and over 37 lakhs as consultancy project funds. NIT Silcher utilizes its capital and operational expenses efficiently. Let's take a look at where they spend the most. Over 6 crores was spent as annual capital expenditure, of which 63.38% was utilized for the library. More than 62 crores was spent as operational expenditure, and a huge part of which was spent on the salaries for the staff. Incandescence is the annual cultural festival of NIT Silchar. It is one of the most awaited festivals of Northeast India. This annually falls in the month of February, attracting students from various colleges from across the country. Technosis is the technical festival of NIT Silchar. This festival, however, falls in the month of October. Here we see young and energetic minds showcasing their talents through various events like robotics, paper presentations, quizzes and a number of events that take place over three days. Apart from these, various seminars and conferences are also regularly conducted by the institute. The facts clearly show the institution's performance in graduations, but graduation and placements go hand in hand and it is expected that the institution excels in both parameters. The institution takes various measures to scale up its placement programs. However, the PG placements will require considerable amount of attention. The research activities are good but need more focus in order to improve their NIRF scores. The institution maintains a good faculty to student ratio which is definitely a positive note. With a mission to train and transform young men and women into responsible thinking engineers, technologists and scientists, to motivate them to attain professional excellence and to inspire them to engage themselves in the betterment of the society, NIT Silchar strives to gain a spot among the top technical institutions of this country. What other interesting college reviews would you like to see? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.